Okay, so Evan, uh, you're a really nice guy to talk to. Like, your wrestling is you're really mean. Yeah. You've gotten like a lot meaner actually. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I keep a high pace, but um, I don't know. I think I think I'm actually one of those guys in the room. I, I try to be a, a, a nice guy. You know, I, I try to help people learn. But you know, when you get on the mat, you got to be ruthless. So that's the that's the mentality that I have. You got to push the pace. You got to move these guys. You know, you got to be aggressive with your movement because they're not gonna let you. They're not gonna let you move them. You know, so you got to be ruthless. You got to be aggressive. So you've been an absolute killer the last two years, right? You've been fourth and third. Yep. Okay. Freshman third, fourth last year. Yeah. Um, obviously, the goal is not fifth next year or yeah, this year. Yeah. The goal is to, to, to win the title, right? Mm -hmm. 165 is the most competitive weight. Yeah. Right? Is there any doubt in your mind when you look at that field? That's a great field of, of guys, right? Marinelli, obviously, um, you know, Vincenzo. Yeah. Who you, you wrestle all these guys. They're big time guys. You yeah. see them all the time. Yeah, see them constantly. What do you got to do? What, what has to change from the fourth place finish to the third place finish? Like, how do, how do you climb the mountain there? I'm just constantly focusing on getting better, I think, is a real big thing. Sometimes you try to focus too much on, on peaking and worrying about whether or not you're that good right now. And you just really have to kind of put that outside of your mind and focus on getting better. You know, I think the, the best thing that I can do is just really accept that you know maybe I'm not the best I am right now but I'm gonna be a hell of a lot better come March you know and that's that's really been motivating for me is just focusing on getting better and not worrying about whether or not I'm there right now season's so long I've been talking to Bono about this it's, like, it's November right now yeah you know Johnny's got a lot of miles Johnny Sebastian yeah. right and he's a guy like you got to keep him on a pitch count like coach said right yeah. and you know your body though like your body's never really broken down you, you you've been healthy for the most part right yeah. whereas your brother you know, he's had some issues with his hip and yep. his career's over. How do you stay healthy from, I mean, you've never really battled injuries, yeah. right? You're a long, lanky guy. You're, you're not the typical body type of most wrestlers. Mm. How do you stay healthy? How do you how do you survive this grind, and how do you be at your best in March? Um, you know, I, I guess I've just been fortunate to not get significantly injured in the past. Actually, I had a tweaked my knee last night against Buffalo, and I don't know if you guys saw, but I had a, my knee was taped up pretty good um, today, but I ju I've just been fortunate to not have a significant injury like that, but when you do get injured like that, you got to be optimistic, because I, I have had my fair share of injuries in the past. I broke my ankle my junior year, had surgery on it, and five weeks later, I competed at the state tournament, you know, so you just have to constantly stay optimistic. I think some guys, when they, they get injured, they lose steam. They, they get down on themselves, so you just have to be optimistic. I always try to stay optimistic in my wrestling. All right, Seth's gotten a lot better on his feet, right? Who else? Seth has oh, yeah. gotten a lot better on his feet. If you watch him, his, his, his attacks, yeah. are, they've gone up. Yeah. Is that something that Reader, Bono, McDonough, they're talking to you guys about? you got to attack more. You're, we all know your killer's on the mat. Yeah. Everybody, yeah. Knows, everybody who wrestles you knows you're a killer yeah, on the mat. Yeah. You know, you'll go Mitch Clark on someone, take top and turn them and beat yeah. them, right? We know that. Everybody knows that. Yeah. What do you guys got to do? What, what What's the difference in wrestling on, you know, from the neutral position for you guys? The co Like you said, the coaches are just constantly preaching to us hustle, effort, and attitude. It doesn't matter whether or not you get taken down or not. Because, I mean, ultimately you have... Six more minutes, really, if you, if you get taken out on the first, you have a lot of time to, to rebound. And we're good on top, so it's it's easy to stay confident on your feet. It's like, forget it, man. I'll, I'll get taken down, but I'm going to come back on top, and I'm going to do some damage. But um, Gross is a, is a guy, you watch him in the room, he's 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 okay getting taken down once in a while. You know, he, he shoots a lot, um, and he takes risks, and that's really big, guys. A lot of guys don't take risks in practice, and that's huge. you got to take risks to improve. You, know? you don't want to stay where you're at. A lot of guys will... They'll shut down and try to just focus on the things that they're good at, but you've got to be constantly developing and, and, and adjusting. And I think in gross, I see that a lot, and that's really motivating for a lot of the guys. I, I see our attack rate in practice is getting so much higher. A lot of guys are taking risks and learning, and I see I see it on the mat. I saw it today. A lot of guys are taking good risks and good attempts, and it, you can see the development in the wrestling. Last thing, how's Xander doing? Xander's doing great. He uh, Last week, he just uh, came back on the mat. He was helping me out, and a lot of that stuff that we were working on really came into play this week. Uh, we worked on some top stuff, some neutral stuff, just penetrating on my shots, and it's so awesome that I have someone like that with me because it's hard to ask some of the guys who are you know, banged up and going through this, this process with us, with me, to... Uh, to come in and, and, and like their off time and, and work with me, but it's so easy with Aaron. He's so enthusiastic about wrestling and enthusiastic about helping me. You know, he's my brother and he really appreciates helping me out. And he, he loves wrestling too, so he's back. He's back on the mat right now, but he'll probably start training for freestyle pretty soon. I, I think. Okay, I lied. Don't, why don't you hate winter? 
Oh, Why don't God. you hate winter, dude? I do Why? Hate this is winter. terrible. Yeah, it's terrible. Rough, man. I it's hate hard. it. That's why I loved getting back into San Diego when we uh, we did the battle at the Midway. That was so awesome. Just and I know it's early in the winter right now, but just to get back into California for at least another three, four days was so refreshing. Um, but the winter is brutal, man. It does a number on everyone. You know? I hate a lot it. of Midwesterners say you get used to it. They don't. They don't. I don't. It's, I hate it. I've been in whole life. I hate it. I'm 40. Yeah, I always, I always tell people, um, you know, I was prepared for how cold it was going to be. I wasn't prepared for how long it was going to be cold. <laughs> it's cold for a long time, man. All right, you got anything else for me? I'm um, good. Hey, Thank you, man. thanks for the time. Big win tonight. Way to, way to, way to go out there and be a killer. It's fun to watch. And uh, jump around. Yes, sir.